he's been through a lot in the sport of boxing, and um, he's done a lot for the sport of boxing. And I'm I'm absolutely proud of, of Roy Jones. Just my word to the family. I know it's been hard, but do it all, man. I promise we gon' ball. You're now watching Out the Pocket Sports with the Truth and T.A. Slash. What's good, y'all? Welcome to another episode of Out the Pocket Sports. I'm Truth. I'm your boy, T.A. Slash. Like always, man, we appreciate y'all for tuning in. We definitely do. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe below <laughs> to help the <laughs> channel grow. And we're doing this for the minorities, man. Me, you, him, her, everybody, man. Our voice is your voice. Really, this is everybody's show. Mm -hmm. So help help our channel grow. We're on the drive to 500, man. So 500. Yes, sir. Like I said, like you said, we're in the drive for five hundred, man. So yeah, we, you know, we want y'all to keep subscribing, and we appreciate everybody's comments on our next show. We definitely gonna do another episode of shouting out to the subscribers, man. Um, we be yes, getting sir. a lot of feedback um, with a lot of our topics. We appreciate that, whether it's good or bad. We appreciate the feedback, you know, what I mean and stuff like that. So drive for five. So when we get that five hundred subscriber, we're gonna do a gift, a giveaway. So definitely keep subscribing. Uh, you know, you may get it. You may be one of those persons or whoever that win a prize. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get started. What's up, Slash? How you been? I'm good, cuz. What's been up with you, nigga? Man, chilling, man. Just doing my thing. Working, you know what I'm saying? Doing, you know, doing my thing. You know what I'm saying? Trying to stay above water like everybody else. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, me, me, me too, man. Like, you know, I go to the gym about four times a week, man. I'm... Like I'm already down like forty. I'm trying to make. I'm trying to get it to about fifty, sixty. You know what I'm saying. Well, I've been. Huh? No, I was gonna go ahead. Go ahead. I mean, to cut you off. No, nah, I'm. I'm just saying. Like I like trying to get this weight off me as a motherfucker, man. I, I wish I wouldn't have let myself get like this, but stress is a motherfucker, man. Like when you when you lose somebody, you weren't supposed to lose, man. It's like yeah, man, you just can't believe it. I get it, I man. I lost That's... a lot of weight on COVID, but. End up putting yeah. the shit back on. Yeah, and I get it, man. A lot of people don't understand that stuff, man. You know, you know, a lot of people's situations, stuff, but stuff happens, man. But keep doing your thing. You'll definitely hit your goal. I'm rooting for you. Um, so we're gonna I make it happen. It, yeah, yes, sir. And also, okay, there we you go, right now. Nicole. Okay, oh, there we go. God. There she is. I'm in front of Nicole. <laughs> I was just about to say we just. We're doing the intro now. I was just about to say that you and Mo will be joining us shortly. So thank right. you for uh, <laughs> you guys in this link. Hey, cuz everybody, you guys in this link. I cannot with y'all today. <laughs> What's up? How you doing? I'm like, oh, good and you. How you doing? I'm doing pretty <laughs> good. Doing really good. Yes, yes. It's, it's good to see y'all, yeah, man. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, I I wouldn't trade it for the world. Thank you. <laughs> That's what's up. <laughs> And like I said, Mo Mo's gonna be joining us shortly, so uh, we're gonna we, we're gonna get get started. So uh, our first topic is Karusha Shields' a hundred thousand k boxing challenge. She is challenging any street female or boxer that think they can whoop her. She said, "On her soul, she'll drag anybody from any state, any city, any country." She said, "Come try and get rich." Thoughts on that? <laughs> <laughs> Nicole, I want you to go first with this. Would you? I want you to go first, Nicole. Would you take this challenge? Would you fight her for a hundred a hundred k? I would at least need five hundred thousand. I, I can't do a hundred k because I mean, by the time you pay taxes and everybody who need to get paid, you're not gonna have a hundred k. You yeah, you're gonna have like mm -hmm. maybe fifty thousand if you're lucky. So. I oh, she's talking five hundred thousand. So after everybody get paid, I at least have at least like four hundred thousand, three three hundred fifty thousand something. Well, she's talking about she's talking about hundred k out of her pocket. We ain't talking about the government. It's ten ninety nine. You should get straight hundred k. Oh, so she <laughs> oh, no, you still gotta pay taxes on that. You black. <laughs> Black people gotta pay their taxes. I definitely and understand that shit. Yeah. <laughs> so it's gotta be four hundred k. I would love, I would love, I would love to see Nicole in her fight. You know what I'm saying, Nicole? Just, oh my god, no. that's gonna be funny as fuck. But oh, no. <laughs> what's up with you? How you, how you feel about this, man? What's your thought on this? Who, who would you like to see her fight? 
man. I I would say Ronda Rousey, but Ronda Rousey would get dog walked, man. I, you done seen her get dog so many times, but she was so entertaining for her time. And I, I was a big Ronda Rousey fan, but at the most, I, I don't know. Maybe maybe uh Muhammad Ta uh what's her name? Uh Tatiana Al Ali. Oh, oh okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, like, yeah. I love yeah. Ali's daughter. I think Ali's daughter might give her that work for real, for real. But I don't think mm -hmm. she's boxing for I don't know. Okay. Okay, so what about a non celebrity? I mean, what no, about a Layla non boxer? Ali. My bad. I said Tatiana, it's Layla Ali. Layla, yeah, Layla, yeah. She old, she older though, man. She, she, has she been fighting lately? She, you know. No, I don't think she, I don't think she fighting no more. But she might give her that work. Okay, right. what, what? Okay, yo, what about a, what about a non, a non fighter like a street chick, like somebody who y'all want to see her fight as like, a, like it's just a regular person, street person. Trina, uh, Nicki Minaj. Oh no, they, they, they Nikki? get fucked up. Uh. Yes. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Maybe I don't Cardi think they're saying chance on that Maybe one. Cardi B will give her to her and hit her with that shoe. You know what I'm saying? It's something I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I say, I, I say, I don't know. I say maybe, I say maybe sexy red. I think she, she, she probably got them a little okay, bit of hair. Uh, you know. Oh yeah, she, that, yeah, she, she look right. like she, she, she would probably dog walk somebody because she, she look like she got that dog in her. Yeah, yeah, like a real dog. And I don't mean like <laughs> just like that dog. You know what I'm saying? She look. Oh, <laughs> well, I, I would like to see her fight Amanda Nunes. Mm, that that would be, be a, that would be a fight, man. I, I think Nunes will put them put some hands on her. Yeah, Carissa Shield, she just needs to stop sometimes. She first she's trying to fight old boy, and now she's saying anybody like ah. yeah. Right. She she doing too much right now. She doing too much, man. But mm -hmm. hey, I mean, you know, I like so I would like to see Amanda Nunes, you know, go, you know, them two go heads up, you know what I mean? But yeah, she 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 doing a little too much. She being a little too being a little too cocky. Somebody gonna put her in her ass, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, let's move on over to our next topic, man. Uh, I was watching It Is What It Is uh, earlier, and Floyd Mayweather joined the uh, joined them, uh, Mason uh, Cam. He was talking mm -hmm. about the situation with um, Haney and all that stuff. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to play the video, uh, and then we're going to debate it. All right? Okay. okay. All right, let's get it. Came back down and for the cruiserweight. He's been a, a middleweight champion. He said he thinks that the boxing aficionado, aficionados are crazy for not saying he's TBE. And well, I said, well, everybody from... knows Floyd is kind of yeah, uh, TBE. known as CBE. Yes. Um, well, he said, well, that's what people got it wrong at. What do you have to say to that? Well, everybody, for starters, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. And I'm glad that Roy Jones feels that way about himself. Every fighter that uh, gave the sport of boxing their whole life, and um, sacrifice a lot inside, inside that square circle, they should feel that way. So if he feels that way, you know, more power to him. Um, I had one fight, um, and it really, the fight wasn't actually at a catch weight. It was at a catch weight, but it wasn't my idea. So at one particular time, you guys can, uh, anybody, you can go online and pull this up. It was an article. So... With Canelo, Canelo said, um, I thought, I believe Canelo at one particular time thought I was scared of him, you know, that I was afraid. Um, so he said, um, Floyd don't want to fight me. I'm willing to meet him at 152 pounds or 152 and a half. And me, I called his bluff and said, if you want to do it, let's do it at 152 or 152 and a half. And, um, but after Canelo made the weight, it wasn't like it was a certain clause to where he couldn't gain weight. So after he weighed 140, I mean, 152 or 152 and a half, he, I think he came in like 168 or close to 170. And actually, I came in at probably like, uh, one, probably, I probably came in at 151 and 152. Gotcha. Mm. But Roy okay. Jones is, Roy Jones is one hell of a fighter. You know, I can't get on here and uh, hate on his skills and knock his skills. Um, He's been through a lot in the sport of boxing, and um, he's done a lot for the sport of boxing. And I'm I'm absolutely proud of, of Roy Jones. 
this is a very mature Floyd Mayweather yeah. we're talking to <laughs> 10 years ago. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm quiet. Was... You, mean 20, you mean 20 years ago? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know yeah. what would have been said. <laughs> I had a different set of questions. <laughs> so I don't even know if I can ask them this now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes, you can. Okay. Yes, you can. Yeah, so, okay, since we shoot from the hip, um, do you think um, Javante is is ungrateful when it comes to you? Well, my thing my thing is I've always been there for him from day one. Um, we had a game plan, and my game plan was to help him become world champion and take things to that next level. And I've I've always been there for him. And just over the years, you can see I've always been positive, always said great things about him, always pushed him to be great. And um, but over the years, it's constantly going on the internet, take a shot at Floyd, take a shot at Floyd, take a shot at Floyd. Uh, constantly be disrespectful, constantly be disrespectful. When all I ever been was respectful to try to help this fighter. Um, go as far as he could possibly go. That's all I ever did. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, I want to stick to boxing before I veer off into questions like that. I know later on it was proven that he was cheating, and I don't know if he ever, if he ever fought, uh, actually won after they found out he was cheating. But did you sense something when it came to Margarito why you never fought him? Well, <clears throat> everything ha happens for a reason. You're not going to be able to fight everybody so they're going to always have something to say about a certain opponent oh, well Floyd didn't fight him Floyd didn't fight this guy um I fought all the guy all the guys that was put in front of me and with the Antonio Margarito fight um you know I'm glad that it I'm actually glad that the fight didn't happen right um my career is very important to me and um, anything can happen in the sport of boxing. And Antonio Margarito, he's a cheater. Right. When it's all said and done. Um, I'm glad. It, you see what happened to Miguel Cotto when he fought Antonio Margarito the first time. So that could have easily been me. Right. Right. Absolutely. That's what I was saying. You had a sense yeah. or the fight just didn't happen. Because I don't think they, he won again after they found out what was going on. I mean. It was God's when plan. They, the, the night they found out that he was cheating, um, that's the night he lost. Right. Another fight. He had already lost probably a couple fights, but I think he lost to Shane Mosley. And um, Shane Mosley beat him for the title. Okay, we're going to stop that right there. It was the de definitely, if y'all want to see the uh, whole uh, show, just check out It Is What It Is. Y'all can check out you know the whole interview that they gave Floyd. So... Uh, What's your, what's your thought on this? You know, he said his tank is being disrespectful and everybody's throwing shots at him. You know, we did the video about him being stuck over Dubai and, you know, about his money. We got a lot of, um, you know, responses from that, good or bad, people telling us, you know, you don't get money away, this and that, blah, blah, blah. So how do you feel about him saying tank is being disrespectful? You think that's true or not? I mean... And people taking okay. shots at him. I mean, he was, he supposed to be the greatest of all times, right? When you're the greatest of all times, people going to come at you. No matter what right. you feel like, you the greatest Hold on real quick, Slash. Hold on. Hold on real quick. Hold your thought. We got Mo Better. What's up, buddy? What's up? Hey, What's Mo. up? Y'all know I'm going to make it a little late, but I'm here. What's happening, <laughs> y'all? <laughs> you breaking up a little bit, man. You breaking up. <laughs> right? He always hey. break up. Mo is hilarious. Always. <laughs> It's that Android. Hey, anyway, we, we now you reconnecting. All right, anyway, well, okay, there you go. I, I, okay, I think we got you now. All right, well, he'll be back. But go ahead, slash key. Uh, um, go ahead. But yeah, when you the when you supposed to be the greatest of all times and you the best pound for pound fighter, and then when you got people coming up in the ranks, people are gonna start gunning for you because you still out here talking mess and you aren't you only doing like prize fights and mm. so-called doing other fights too but like so they like man look i'm i'm good too i'm a pound for pound fighter like i'm gonna talk trash about floyd that's what floyd means yeah he, he also he was speaking that he also talked about that about right so it was someone else they asked him about doing an exhibition fighter with he was like 
I only do exhibition fights against, uh, you know, YouTubers and MMA fighters. He's like, um, he said, he said, no, he said, he said he's not going to risk, you know, uh, his health or his career over an exhibition fight that don't mean anything. So I can kind of get that, you know what I'm saying? But why not turn it into a real bout instead of being an exhibition? You know what I mean? And Mo, people he know he can beat. Right. (laughs) Okay. And Mo, real quick, just to let you know, we just getting started, and we're talking about the uh, uh, Floyd Mayweather joining. Uh, it is what it is with Mason Cam. Okay, He'll okay. But Nicole, let me hear your thoughts. What you think? I'm, I'm with you. Um, I, I mean, I, I agree with him. Like, I that's kind of like his persona, you know, like that's his image, trash talk, all that. So. If you dishing it, you got to be able to take it because that's the energy he's putting out there. So he's receiving the same energy back, you know. So you can't come and yeah. be like, "Oh, so and so is disrespectful" when he's disrespectful. You know, it's it's a two it's a two sided coin because on one end, it is a is it is a business relationship, so there should be some level of respect there. But then on the mm-hmm. other end, he you know he doesn't always abide by boundaries you know he he break he go and break the rules all the time or cross boundaries all the time so it's kind of like hypocritical you know it's it's a two-headed it's a two-sided coin that's what i think i feel like he didn't got up there in age and he didn't got emotional <laughs> yeah. thank you for watching out the pocket sports with the truth nta slash please like and subscribe leave a comment and share the video just my word to the family, I know it's been hard, but do it all, man, I promise we gon' all.